for tuning in for a new video. Today I am doing pretty basic pour. I'm just going to do a flip and drag, but I want to kind of almost overstretch it. I want to give the effect of kind of like the paint um, shooting across the canvas, kind of like in a, not a wave motion, but just kind of like, um, I, I don't know. I I have a, I have something in my head. I just want to kind of stretch it out both ways, keep some negative space on the outside and hopefully on the inside of the pour. That's my goal. We'll see. I don't know if it's going to come out. Anyways, let's get down to the canvas and get started. I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So what I've got today is a gessoed 24 by 30 gallery wrap canvas. Um, I painted over top of a piece that I was doing for a commission. The client liked the other piece, so this one was not something I was real interested in keeping. So I'm gonna paint over top of it. So I did put two coats of gesso over top of it and then lightly sand it to make sure everything was nice and smooth. So we're good. Um, I'm gonna flood my base with two colors. This is primary yellow mixed in with titanium white. I have got Creative Inspirations, Payne's Gray. I have Pebio Studio Acrylics and Thalo Blue. I've got Azo Orange from Amsterdam. Creative Inspirations in Crimson. And Creative Inspirations in their Titanium White. Now, these colors are because they're creative inspirations, I'm probably gonna get a lot of cells. It is my experience working with creative inspirations. Things sell up real easily. All right, so what I'm gonna do is flood the zone. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay out some white into the bottom of my 16 ounce cup. And now I'm gonna put in my colors. So I think what I'll do is my crimson. Pains. Blue. And my orange. What I'm gonna do is put out a little bit of a runway with my paint. Normally I would do like a grenade pour, but I didn't really poke this in. But I guess I technically could here. Here, let's. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna release this. There, it starts to ooze on out. So now I'm just gonna make some zigzags, slowly lifting up the paint. Things are starting to pop up, cells. All right, so what I'll do is I'm gonna kinda go to one side and then come back.
and let this float right on down. Digging it, digging it, digging it, guys. What I'm gonna do is now I need to fix up what I don't like, which is my ends. I wanted to keep the negative space, but I've got a little dirtiness over here and a little bit of dirtiness over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just remove this section, make it more organic, pull this off and just keep the negative space.
All right, I am done with the piece. I am digging it. I like my negative space. The great thing is, is I did not get a lot of mud, which was very, very possible using the orange. The orange does poke through, but not a whole lot. Um, yeah, overall, love the piece. I got an area here where a little bit of the white kind of fractured, but it just gives it depth, I think. I really like it. I love the red. The blues really complement each other. Yes, digging it, digging it, digging it. All right, I'm going to clean up my edges, and then I'll bring you guys in. All right, here we are with the dried results. So I think in the vertical looks a lot better for composition. I'll bring you in for a close up. I really enjoy this piece. Look at the bright, vibrant colors, how they stayed. All right, let's see how this dries. Okay, here we are with the dried result outside. It's a beautiful day outside. It's really windy, so hopefully this stays up on the easel. But I'm loving how this piece dried. Okay, that is it for the pour. So it dried fantastic. I love the negative space working in here. If I could change a couple of things, I would like to have the negative space go up more into here. And I could have done that with the scraping like I did over on the outside portions, like I did over here fixing it. I could have actually brought that in some. Kind of thought about that after a while I was drying, but that's okay. I still love the piece. It definitely will uh, get hung in the vertical. So I think that's gonna be great for the uh, overall uh, composition. You know, it'll, get a, it'll get a couple of coats of gloss varnish and then it'll go up on the website. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Everyone have a great rest of the weekend and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.